And so these two robots are completely unattached, as you can see. And if I move the handle on this, it's going to change the motor on the other brick. Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. Now what I'm going to do is demonstrate to you guys how to get one LEGO NXT brick talking to another NXT brick using Bluetooth. So right now I'm in the LEGO Mindstorms NXT programming environment and what I'm going to do is write the program for the first brick that's going to be sending the message. So what I'm going to do is create a new program. So go to new program and choose the name. I'm going to call it master brick. Okay, so this is the name of the program. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag a sensor block. So a sensor block basically is going to read a value of a sensor. So the value that I'm going to read is from the rotation sensor. So what that means is however much I rotate one of the uh, wheels, it's going to read how much I've rotated. So it's going to get the reading of motor A. So I've chosen port A. And it's going to get the reading as a, a degree, a degree value. So... I'm going to get the number of degrees and what I'm going to do is put this onto the screen. But before I put it on the screen, I need to turn it into a text. So let's go number to text. And I'm going to drag the number of degrees to here. And it's going to, this block, what it does is it changes the number into a text that I can then display on the screen. So if you go to action, display, it's going to display this number onto the screen, display the text onto the screen. So make sure in your block, you choose to display text and you can choose where you want to display the text. So it's going to display on the screen. And then finally, I'm going to conduct another action. So I'm going to send a message via Bluetooth. And I'm going to choose connection point one. So you can have up to three connections for Bluetooth. So I'm going to send a number message to mailbox one, which my other robot is going to retrieve from. So this number of degrees, I'm going to connect it to send via Bluetooth icon. So now it's going to send um, the number that I've rotated on my motor to the other robot uh, connected via connection one. So then I'm going to hook it up. So I'm going to um, put all of this inside a forever loop. So what that means is I'm going to keep repeating these actions on my first brick. Okay, it's going to read the value, display it on the screen, send it via Bluetooth. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is write the program for my uh, other block that's receiving the message. So I'm going to call that. So I'm going to start a new program and I'm going to call it the slave block. Sounds really bad, but it just means that it's receiving the message. So again, I'm going to choose the forever block. And what I'm going to do is inside the forever block, I'm going to let it receive. So go into sensor and choose receive message. So it's going to keep trying to receive messages and if it does receive a message so I'm gonna try and retrieve the number message from mailbox one and in this loop I'm going to be keep looping this forever until a logic variable becomes true so what does a logic variable do it basically is either true or false so I'm gonna keep repeating this until something is true so until what is true? Until 
I have received a message. So connect from this endpoint loop condition to yes or、uh, to re message received. So when it receives a message, this becomes true and it'll jump out of the loop. Okay. So another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to send the number to a、um, number to text block. So again, I'm going to turn this number. Into text that I can display on the screen. So where is the screen?、Uh, action display on the screen. So I'm going to display the text onto the screen, and this is going to show the text block.、Uh, sorry, the display block block is going to show text. Okay. So then, because I want to keep doing all of this forever, I'm going to put everything I have inside one big loop. Okay, so it's going to keep repeating all of this forever. Okay, so now I'm going to connect up two、uh, NXT bricks via Bluetooth, and I'm going to transfer these programs onto the brick and show you how they work. Hey guys, so what I'm going to do is show you how to connect up these bricks. So、um, you can see that the bricks have different names. On the left-hand side, this brick is called NXT, and on the right-hand side, the brick is called Michael. So anyway, what I'm going to do is the left-hand side. This brick is going to be the master brick that sends a message to the slave brick. So the master brick has a、um, A sort of a little handle thing connected to one of the motors. So this is the value that is going to be sent to the other brick. How much this handle rotates. Okay. So to set that up, what I'm going to do is on the right hand side, this brick is the slave brick, and I'm going to turn on Bluetooth. So go to the right and choose Bluetooth. And just make sure that it says it's visible and it's on. Okay, then you can just leave that there. And on my master brick, I'm gonna go to Bluetooth, Bluetooth, and I'm gonna choose. Make sure you make it visible and you turn it on, and then you search. So go to Bluetooth again, and you're gonna search for the slave brick. Okay, so it's searching right now. So let's see whether it finds it. Hopefully, it'll find it soon. Okay, so it's found it. So let's connect to Michael. On channel one. Okay, so it's connected, and now let's get out of that. So you can see in、um, connections, you can see Michael is currently connected, and you can also see there's a bit of a change in the icon on the top left. So before the icon only had half a circle, and now it's a full circle. That means it's connected. So now what I'm going to do is run the programs that I've previously downloaded onto these bricks. Okay, so now both bricks I'm going to go into software my files. So、uh, basically, scroll left and right to my files, go to software files, and choose the program. So if you guys remember, I called it Master Brick. All right, and then on the right hand side, this brick, I'm going to go into software files, slave brick, run. Okay, so that's running, and software files, master brick, run. So that's running. So what you can do now is both bricks are displaying a number. I'm not sure if you can see it. By the way, this is totally wireless. Okay, they're not connected, and I'm going to zoom in a bit more. So you can see it, see the number on their screen. So right now, if I move, 
if I move this um, handle, the number will change on the other brick. Okay, I'm not sure if you can see it change, but um, let me just zoom in a bit. So you can see there's a number, and if I change what's on this handle here, that number changes. Okay, so to make it more obvious for you guys, uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm also going to make the motor, which is on here, I'm going to make that move as well when I move this handle. So to get this last bit working, basically, other than just displaying the number, what we want it to do is I also want this number to influence my um, motor. So drag a motor block on, it's just after the display. And the motor is basically going to change motor A that's currently connected. And it's going to move in a certain direction. And the power um, level of the motor is just going to be the number that's outputted. So drag the number out to the power. Okay, to the power. Yep, and so now that's going to be um, influencing the power level of the motor. And another thing I want to do is I want to do a quick test, a quick comparison to see if the number from the Bluetooth is bigger than zero. So it's going to check whether this number is bigger than zero. If it is, it's going to output true. If it's not, it's going to output false. And that's going to decide whether this motor is going to go forward or back. So that's going to influence the direction. Okay, so now we have the power level and the direction going to be influenced by the angle of the motor and now uh, the angle of the Bluetooth message. So now I'm going to send this program to my robot and see if it works. Okay, so just repeat the same steps on um, executing the program and now you're going to see that if I move the handle on this robot and so these two robots are completely unattached as you can see and if I move the handle on this It's going to change the motor on the other brick, okay, the speed and the direction that it's rotating at. Okay, thanks for watching guys, see you next time.